and a good morning, good afternoon, and a very good evening to you all, the good and wonderful people of the Tube. Hope you're today, hope you're feeling grand, and all is well in your world. Today, people of the Tube, we are in acoustic land with this very rather lovely guitar. This is a Faith, let me get this correct, because the name's quite bizarre, and I don't want to get it wrong. This is a Faith Mercury Scoop Electro Eclipse Series. What, what, why can't I just call it, like, you know, the small guitar? I don't know. Anyway, they've, uh, they've gone the, the route of the Ibanez names and just named it loads of things. Anyway, listen to us numbers and letters. This guitar is really nice. It's tiny. It's like a little parlor guitar, as you can see people too. It's not very big. Uh, the cutoff is the 12th fret as well. A lot of my acoustics are cut off uh, on the, well, the 14th fret. So this one actually stops at the 12th. Uh, but you do have a cutaway here, hence the scoop, which you can see there in the light. And that is really nice. I don't know how they do that, but it's very, very cool. And it does help to get up here. When, when you're playing, that little scoop away there, it really does give you the... You can get up there, you can. Uh, it's really, really cool. Uh, it's really tiny. When you when you sat down with this thing, it feels really compact. It's really corn beef kind of like kind of guitar. It's really small. The neck on this thing, I don't know if it's a three quarter scale or what, but it definitely feels like it. It's absolutely tiny, and as a result, it's very very easy to play if you're used to an electric guitar, which is really cool because you know I I play electric guitar ninety nine percent of my life. I don't really play an acoustic that much. Um, I, I, I just don't really get drawn to an acoustic. So it, it's really nice to pick up an acoustic guitar that kind of feels like an electric in, in relation to, like, say, one of the others behind me or, or the mountain acoustic over there, which is a big, you know, jumbo-style acoustic. Um, well, dreadnought, should I say, not jumbo. Um, but it's really nice. I, but I'm in two minds of it, people. Sure. I don't really know where I am with this guitar. Uh, I got this. I did a trade with my friend uh, Richard, and this uh, he had this, and uh, I had a guitar uh, that he really liked of mine, and uh, we did a, we did a, like a trade basically. So I got this, I got this from him, and he got one of mine, and I'm 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 still in an hour and about it. I was before the video actually, I was pretty convinced that kind of like you know, no, nah, this isn't for me, and then playing what I played, which felt like five minutes. You'll you'll see that at the end of the video. Um, through the Marshall amp here. I also had the Afterneath pedal by Earthquaker Devices on, and I just got lost in the guitar. I'm in two minds now. I don't know whether uh, this is for me, or it's definitely for me. It's really weird. I don't know if that makes any sense whatsoever, but it's a really lovely little guitar, and I'm starting to fall in love with it a bit, which is uh, dangerous, um, but not in a bad way. But the neck's really nice. It's like I say, it, it, it feels like three quarter size to me. Um, it probably is. I mean, my, my hand looks humongous. You can do massive stretches on this thing. And it doesn't kind of like get kind of crazy or anything. Um, it's got these gorgeous, gorgeous Grover machine heads with uh, ebony tips on it. I, I really like the Faith headstock and the logo is really cool. Uh, even the trush rod cover is gorgeous. I don't know how well you'll be able to see that through the tube, but the wood is fantastic. Um, the fretboard looks like ebony, but I don't think it is. Again, I looked into specs, people tube, because I, I don't, I don't really care about specs or when it comes down to guitar. I don't really care what they're made of or what's in them electronic wise. If they if they feel good and they sound good and they 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 give me the ability to do what I want to do. That's all that matters. So I don't really know what the fretboard is. I don't know what the, I'm guessing it's spruce, but I don't really know. What it comes down to me is, is can I express it and does it feel good and does it feel right, you know, more than anything. Um, I wish it wasn't as black as Spinal Tap's album cover. Like, uh, I don't, I'm not the biggest fan of kind of black acoustic guitars. I wish it was more like, you know, I wish you could see the wood. Let's put it that way, people you. And the temptation to strip the black is there, but I'd probably lose the rosette, and it just—it, I don't, I just don't want to do that. I think it'd be more, more, uh, more trouble than it's worth to to strip it. But it is like literally, um, in the words of Nigel, Nigel Tufnell, how more black can you get? You know, it, it really is. You can see yourself 
in the guitar. But it's really nice. It's got Fishman uh, uh, ink free, INK free pickup in it. Uh, it's just a pi piezo. Uh, you've got Tusk, uh, Nut, and Bridge here. Uh, I do apologize about the light. Every time I get it in light, you see the camera gets, gets darker because it reflects the light from a window. There we go. So I do apologize about the light flickering in and out. Um, it's really easy to replace the battery. If I just if I just turn the amp off a sec. So if I unplug the guitar, uh, all you do basically is pull this little bit of plastic up and there you go. You've got your battery in there. You flick that down. It ejects the other battery. So that's really cool. I really like that. Um, actually, I'm not going to plug it back in. You'll you'll hear it plugged in at the end. I want it, I want you to hear it in the room, people of the tube. So uh, I've got it in E flat tuning as well, just so you know, because that's kind of like my go-to tuning for a, anything really. I just like E flat, but it sounds really good. But I'll give you a bit of a a, a, a kind of a a comparison, if you will, between this and my mountain acoustic, um, because the difference is quite drastic and again people with tube let me know what your thoughts are on this one so this is the faith um mercury scoop electro So to me, it's quite a tinny little acoustic. I mean, it's going to be, it's good. It's small bodied, but it's got a lot of mid range punch. You know what I mean? It's really, it's quite aggressive. I mean, you can get rid of that if you just lighten up your touch. Do apologize people too. Not a bad little sound, but it is quite, um, like I say, it is quite an aggressive sound. It, it really, uh, it kind of goes for your, your, you know, it goes for your face, if you will. <laughs> so this is, again, this is like, a, this is my mountain acoustic uh, from, this is old as well, from, it's from 1974. So it's got a bit more age to it, this one. But this is what this one sounds like. <laughs> To me, uh, this sounds nicer uh, than the Faith. The Faith is really, really nice as well. Uh, don't get me wrong, like, it's a really, really nice guitar. And again, being the size it is, obviously it's not gonna sound like this one because obviously the bigger body, it's a bigger sound chamber, it's, it's gonna sound bigger and, and beefier and richer, if you will. And also, because this one's really, I say it's aged now as well, it's from 1974. So it's got age to it and it's got a bit of a warmth bit more of a depth to the sound, so to say. Whereas the the faith is a little bit more brash and harsh and in your face. If we just go like jump between like a G chord on each one, so this is the faith. Then go to the mountain. You know what I mean? It, it, it's just the mountain is a lot richer, but the faith plays better. Um, because you haven't got this huge body, you know what I mean? Uh, that is the one thing with like guitars like D28 kind of style guitars um, is th there's a lot of body there and if you're a small person that can be a pain. Like um, I, I had Queenie kind of going between these two guitars and although this wasn't the sound she liked, it, it was the better one for her to play because she's, you know, she's small and I've got to admit as well, I'm not 
a big guy by any stretch of imagination. And I find this a lot easier to play than the mountain. I kind of get... I can get around on the mountain and, and, and the bigger acoustics, but I've always preferred small bodies. And this one is really nice. <laughs> It's a great sounding little acoustic, but again, being a parlor-sized guitar, it, it, it limits its range uh, frequency-wise. So it's quite harsh. And again, been fairly new as well. I've, I don't know when this thing was made, but uh, I would I, it's fairly new, I would say. Um, Newish. Uh, it's, it's still got a lot of, um, you know, aging to do and warming up to do. It's still very brash and new. And also, it doesn't help the fact I've got brand new strings on it as well. So it'd be interesting to maybe come back to it, maybe, um, if I decide to keep it um, in like a in a while to, in a, in like a, I don't know whenever it's time to hear like the strings a bit more worn in or whatnot. I, don't, I really don't know who the tube. I just I'm really torn on this one. I don't know. There's a lot of things I don't like about this guitar, and there's a lot of things I really love about this guitar. Um, like I said, I don't like the black at all. I think that's just, uh, I reckon this guitar could be absolutely, it would be absolutely stunning if it looked more natural, you know, like, like a, like a, uh, standard acoustic. I don't really know where the idea of, because I can see the wood grain underneath. It, it just looks like spruce to me and it, it would look gorgeous. I think like natural bodied. Uh, I don't know what the sides are. Um, they, I don't, I don't really, I really don't know. I'm, I'm sure the specs are on uh, Google, people of YouTube, if you, if you, if you all know them. But I'm in two minds of it. People of YouTube, what do you think? Uh, out of these two, after, after hearing them, which one would you go, which one would you go for and why? Let me know in the comment section below. Because I'm a bit torn, to be honest with you. I really don't know. I really don't. Anyway, uh, I want to do a quick video on this though, because I don't play acoustic a lot and, um, like I say, I don't. Will this guitar be hanging around? Uh, I don't know. We'll we will we'll see. But um, I do like it. I I just don't know if I like it enough to warrant keeping it. You know what I mean? I'm 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 very funny with with acoustic guitars. If I like, you know, uh, even more, I'm more strict on them than I am electrics. Like if I don't play them, they go. You know, uh, the, the four acoustics behind me you see are kind of like, on, and the mountain acoustic here, they're kind of like my main acoustics. And the Tanglewood over my head here, this one, that's been my main acoustic forever. You know, and it's a small bodied one. It's it's a bit bigger than the uh, the parlor size, which this Faith is. But um, I do like small acoustic guitars. I like the mid-range they have. And this one's got mid-range in spades. But I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. I like the size. I like the way the neck feels. Uh, again, the, the, the scale length feels great. Um, it's got a great action as well. The action's not ridiculously high. It's not ridiculously low. Uh, I've got it strung up with a uh, Daddario Gage 10 to 50 uh, acoustic strings, people of tube, just so you know. Uh, and again, I've got it in E flat as well, which again is my preferred tuning. Um, and the uh, jammer you hear at the end, I've got it in Dadgad tuning but half a step down, so uh, it would be like D flat, A flat, <laughs> um, or it'd be uh, G sharp, I don't know. But it basically, it's dadgad tuning, but everything's down half a step, uh, and it just sounds glorious. But And again, through the Marshall AS50 and uh, the uh, Afterneath, it just, I got lost, to be with you, and it, what, it turned out to be quite a lot longer jam than I thought. But let me know your thoughts, people tube on this. And like I say, it sounds nice, it sounds great for finger picking. It sounds really nice when you're strumming it. And it's got a lot of dynamics as well. You can really kind of like be easy with it. Then you get really hard.
You know what I mean? It, it's it's really nice. But again, when you're playing it, it sounds good. It sounds better because the sound's going that way. But when you're in front of this thing, it's quite brash. So bear that in mind, Boo Achoo. When you're, when you're behind the sound hole, it's quite nice. But when you're in front of the sound hole, it, it, it's quite tinny and trebly. But again, that could be to do with new strings. Uh, the fact that the guitar hasn't really been played a lot. Um, Richard said he, he didn't really play this guitar that much. Um, it's got some scratches on it and stuff like that. It's got some signs of use, but nothing major or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, it's a lovely little guitar. It really is a lovely guitar. And I've got to say, they're definitely worth trying out. Uh, in all fairness, I've not had much luck or good experiences with Faith acoustic guitars. A lot of the Faith acoustics I've tried feel really stiff and not very, and they don't particularly sound very good. But this one feels great. The sound, I don't know. I'm, I'm a bit, I'm on the fence with the sound. I'm also on the fence of, do I keep it or do I sell it? Yeah, what happened? It does sound nice. I think I prefer the sound of, of like a of like the mountain here. But again, you can see how much bigger this thing is on me, and because uh, the neck ends at the fifteenth fret here instead of the twelfth fret, you've got a lot more. The guitar's a lot more that way. It feels like an SG. Um, so, like, you know, when you're E chords here, technically on the faith, it's like here. You know, it's like in the A position. It's crazy. But I don't know, people with you. Any, what are your thoughts? What, uh, what are you thinking in the comment section below? Uh, by, by the time this video comes out, I'd have made my choice, I'm sure. But um, you never know. I might not have. Another thing I don't like about it as well is like black guitars. You can really see the dust collect on it really, really quick. And uh, living in a very dusty house. Um, it drives me a bit mad. It kind of gets my OCD going a bit. Um, but yeah, sounds nice plugged in. It's got a great, you know, the Fishman pickup is great. It keeps all the dynamics and resonance, stuff like that. I say, I do, I do like that scoop out the body there. That, that, that is so cool. Helps when you're playing slide as well, because if you like shoot it up with a slide, it, yeah, you can, you can kind of use that as a stop and, you know, I can imagine it would get quite beaten up over time if you're playing slide a lot, like, but that's all okay. That's an Alice in Chains song, isn't it? Better not play that anymore. Anyway, um, let me know what you thought, people too. The, uh, the Faith Mercury Scoop Electro Acoustic. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also, let me know which one you would pick and why. Would it be this one? Or would it be something a bit more traditional, like, you know, a well, bigger body, should we say, like the mountain there, like a D28 kind of style guitar. But, great guitar. Have another G chord. And I'll see you again very soon for another video. Hope you enjoyed this uh, vid. Hope you enjoy the sounds I make out of this thing as well at the end of the, uh, coming up in a sec. Uh, if you like the videos I do on this channel, please consider becoming a patron at Patreon. Links to that are down there. Uh, as well as links to uh, my band camp as well, where you can go and listen to my music. Uh, other than that, thank you very much indeed for watching PeopleTube, and I'll see you again very soon for another one. Um, yeah. I am conflicted right now. Very conflicted. Goodbye now. Thank you very much indeed.
Thank you.